How do we weather life storms? In 1912, sociologist Emil Durkheim taught that the primary purpose of religion at its earliest level was not to put people in touch with God, but to put them in touch with one another. Religious rituals taught people how to share with their neighbors the experiences of birth and bereavement, of children marrying and parents dying. In that way, the community would be able to share the most joyous and the most frightening moments of life. No one would have to face them alone. Similarly, Rabbi Chaim Stern wrote the well-known words, let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. But the truth is that life storms are unavoidable, whether they are the challenges that exist around us in our world, or the internal trials and tribulations we each face throughout our lives. We all have times when we walk through storms. Judaism knows this and gives us our Hashkivenu prayer. This prayer is only said at night, the time of darkness when we may feel most vulnerable, when we may feel most alone, but also a time that is symbolic of the darkness we may each face in our lives. The prayer speaks of a sukkat shalom, a sukkah or shelter of peace that we long to have to keep us safe and able to withstand hardships. But the shelter of the sukkah is a structure that is not nearly the strongest we could imagine. First, it only has three walls. Second, by day, its covering is supposed to provide shade, but still be open to the sunlight. And third, by night, one must be able to see the stars. So why is this the refuge that was chosen for our Hashkivenu prayer? Just as the winds can blow through a sukkah, so too do the storms we experience blow through our lives. We just need to remember that storms do pass. Just as we can see the sunlight through a sukkah, so too must we remember to let light in, to let help and support into our lives when the storms are rough. And lastly, just as we can see the stars of the night sky through the roof covering, we must remember that God's light is always with us, even during our darkest moments. So how do we weather life's storms? By remembering that we do not have to face them all alone. Mm -hmm.